The idea for Talking Pictures came out of a Threads conversation I had with a person with hearing difficulties. She said that she decided to no longer watch YouTube videos that weren't closed captioned because she was finding lip reading so tiring. It occurred to me that some people, perhaps many, probably experience the same thing with the written word. So I've started Talking Pictures. They will be my most popular blog posts read over attractive video backdrops for people who prefer, or need, spoken rather than written texts. I'm going to start with a blog post designed to help people decide whether they want to be part of my audience, because I deliberately write for a certain audience, not necessarily a huge audience. This one's called The Cherry Trees Audience. Sharing my way of thinking about the world can be useful for some people, but uncomfortable for others. What I write suits a small audience and probably something others should avoid. Therefore, I'm putting my stuff out there for the right audience, not necessarily a big audience. I'm offering thought cherries for people who are open to trying cherries. For decades, I've watched certain people cherry pick what I offer, test the cherries and sometimes use those cherries to profoundly change their lives. Recently, the stories function on social media let me see who the regular audience was from amongst my friends, and some of those people fed back to me the changes they've made. So, I know my cherry offerings have sometimes been useful. I'm putting my different ways of thinking, my tree of cherries, out to the world. The fruits of this tree will only be tasted to a small portion of the potential audience. The rest may find the fruit bitter. But when the audience could be billions of people, that's a lot of opportunities for people to take a cherry and use it to change their lives for the better.